The following contest is a triple threat match. Making her way to the ring from Punta Vedra Beach, Florida, Jade Carr. You know, this person takes some pride in their work, but who could blame them? Few are as gifted in the ring as this performer. Wow, you are laying it on thick, Saxton. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll hear you when they watch this match 10 times before bed tonight. She is ready for this big match, and she knows everyone backstage will be watching her make an impact. Guys, it is time for a Tiffany epiphany. Tiffany Stratton, ready to dominate the competition. And her opponents, first, from Pryor Lake, Minnesota, Tiffany Stratton! Tiffany Stratton, one of the quickest learners in NXT history. She made her NXT debut within weeks of entering the Performance Center, becoming NXT Women's Champion just a year and a half later. Already possessing athleticism on another level, Stratton takes every opportunity to get better. Scary how impressive she is as an in-ring competitor this early in her career. One of the biggest names in independent wrestling before joining WWE, Candice LeRae has continued to add to her accolades in NXT and on the main roster. We've seen it time and time again that Candice has zero fear when it comes to the competition. Ladder matches, war games, Candice has done it all in WWE and has survived. And we've been waiting for this, a triple threat match, one fall to a finish between three very hungry competitors. Egos, feelings, and bodies are about to be hurting this one, Cole. That's just what happens when you add a third to the mix. Downward spiral. See ya. Look at this. Snap suplex. Put into the corner now. Dominating shoulder tackle. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. Stop in the arm. Measured elbow drop. And back elbow creates separation. Scoop slam from behind. Inverted scoop slam. Attack from behind. Textbook neck breaker. Oh, what a nasty knee lift. Triple threats are so mentally and physically draining. How do you keep the pressure from getting to you, Corey? In a triple threat, you have to play offense and defense at the same time. If you want to make it through, you got to have real mental toughness and just trust your instincts. There's no time to think, only time to act. She heads into the ring. Driving the face down. Russian leg sweep. Able to reverse that one. Fishing for something beneath the ring. A steel chin? Something we all know can be a devastating weapon. Uh, 
heavy body shots. With Tar, what a close line. Oh my God. Boom. Can she do it here? She overcomes the pinfall attempt. She just shocked everyone in the ring. Back into the ring. Oh, oh face stop. A uh, flat out power here. Three squats before the power slam. And Candace being out wrestled there. Down on the shoulder. Candace gets that set right back to her. What's up? Driving her opponent down with a bulldog. Ooh, bullseye. Double stop. Oh, the elbow connects. Dragon screw. She's going under the ring now. She knows what an important equalizer the kendo stick can be. Taking it outside the ring now. Oh, Tiffany avoids contact. And it looks like she wants to take this match outside. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. Oh! Out of the way in time. And some effective offense with that one. Of course, that's a unique suplex. Wrist clutch suplex, perfect. Running clothesline. Carefully measured knee drop. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? What's she waiting for? She's looking more focused on gesturing rather than winning. I know there is only one true winner of a match like this, guys, but the other two superstars should keep their heads up high after the performances they pulled off here. Unfortunately, there's no...